Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a regular heptagon. So when we talk about heptagon, we are talking about a polygon with seven sides. So that's heptagon. For heptagon, seven sides. So that's what I'm going to be putting you through in this video. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please take out time to click on the subscribe button below. It's absolutely free. So just click on that rectangular box with the subscribe written on it to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. So now let's start the video drawing a regular heptagon. Now, one interesting thing about the method I'm going to be showing you on how to draw is that this method also works if you are asked to inscribe a heptagon into a circle. Don't worry, you are going to understand what I'm talking about. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a circle. Sorry. So yeah, I already have my circle. So just take note of the radius of the circle that you are using. So I'll still because you are still going to make use of it. So after drawing your circle, the next thing you want to do is to draw a vertical line like I'm having here. So the next thing is so you note this point where this vertical line, which is the diameter, is touching the circle. So you bring back the compass with the same radius you use in drawing the circle. We are going to draw an arc like this. So let's just call this uh, point point A and then let's call this point B. Now you bring in your ruler and then you join this point A and point B together. So where this line AB is touching the diameter, let's call this point C. So now we bring in our compass again. Now we use it to measure the length of AC. So this is it, the length of AC. So we can bring it to, at the top, wait, on this point, and then we start to draw an arc on the circumference of the circle, like this. So where this arc is touching the circumference of the circle, with the same length of AC, we are going to bring it there and then we repeat the process again. Draw an arc. Draw an arc. So make sure uh, your compass is on that those arc that we are marking. So we are going to mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now those points I've just marked represent the sides of the um of the heptagon. So what we are going to do is we are going to join them together. So you bring in your ruler and then you join those points together. So I'm going to be making this bold because that's what we actually need, the heptagon itself. So this point to join it here to the top of this line which is the diameter you join the top here so you join the rest together like this and then for the last side so that we already have six sides. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean seven sides rather. So we have seven sides which represent the heptagon. So this is how you go about if you are asked to draw a regular heptagon. So just to confirm our result, if you bring in your compass or your ruler, you see that the lengths are all the, are all equal. So from this arc to this arc, you can see it's the same thing from here to the top. So after even drawing everything, if you put the last side to here, you see that. It will still come back to touch this point. So that's to let us know that. And you can also use your ruler to check it. So this is giving us about um, about 6.7. So if you measure it around, we are going to be having the same result. So this is how you go ahead to draw it. So if you want to know how to do, draw that regular polygon, maybe the pentagon, hexagon, um, this is heptagon, you no know, octagon, onagon, and the likes of and the likes, you know. Just check the description of this video. I leave a link to 
other videos that will show you how to draw other regular polygon either when you are giving the side and when you are not giving the side all the links i'm going to leave them in the description of this video also if you have any question any comments or any video requests just leave them in the comment section below i also want to encourage you to check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing there are a lot of videos there that i believe will be of help to you so with that guys i'll see you all in another video and before you go please if you are yet still yet to subscribe to pa academy it's absolutely free to subscribe please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you all in another video thank you